So in this episode, we're talking about a new survivor coming to Dead by Daylight. And once again, how they're going to completely destroy another horror icon. Let's get started. So recently there was an update to Dead by Daylight and on the PS4 there was a glitch. And that glitch allowed you to go into the Kill Your Friends section, go into the perks and see perks for a brand new survivor. But who is that survivor? Well, let's take a look at some of the perks. So we go ahead and take a look at some of these perks, such as Buckle Up, Medal of Man, or some of these many others. We'll notice that they all contain the same exact name underneath them. Ashley J. Williams. Or Ash Williams. You know Ash from Evil Dead Army of Darkness? Ash vs. Evil Dead? You know the work shed from Evil Dead, what my set is loosely based off of. Dead by Daylight is going to destroy another horror icon, the same way that they did with Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Leatherface, and every other horror icon that they stuck in there and destroyed. How? Well, they're going to make Ashley J. Williams a survivor. Now, I know a lot of you think, well, he's a good guy. He should be a survivor. Yes, but he's one of the most kick-ass, badass, grooviest sons of bitches in all of horror, which means they're going to have to handicap his ass to death. Because if they don't, he would just kick the shit out of every whore icon that is in Dead by Daylight. And yes, <laughs> I'm loosely not saying in any way, shape, or form a killer because no, they are not killers. You have to actually kill somebody to be a killer. This is my problem with Dead by Daylight. They take all these whore icons and they handicap them so they can't actually kill anybody. No, if you never played Dead by Daylight, a fucking hook does all the killing. Yeah, that's right, a fucking hook. And some of you are going to go, oh, the more it allows you to. No, you have to get permission from the fucking hook to kill him. You know, Freddy Krueger has to get permission from a fucking hook to kill somebody. Yeah, this game is fucking atrocious. It's doing nothing but destroying horror icons one after another. And now they're going to do it to fucking Ash. And yeah, you little fucking horror poser ass wannabe fans are sitting there going, well, I like Dead by Daylight. They don't do anything to them. That's because you all are new to horror genre and you don't actually fucking appreciate it the way some of us do that grew up in the fucking 80s. They are literally fucking destroying these damn people one by one. Yeah, you know Freddy Krueger who has to look at his glove to make sure there's no blood on it as if the cops are going to come and arrest his ass. You know, Michael Myers who sits there and cleans his fucking knife after swinging it. Well, they do it to make the game fair. No, they do it to make you little participation trophy bitches feel good about yourselves because if the game was actually correct and you gave all these horror icons their actual strength, you little bitches who have no strategy whatsoever would get your asses kicked and then you would cry like a bunch of little babies as if mommy didn't give you your baba because you can't escape because the horror icon is supposed to help you escape. You're not supposed to actually die. This is my problem I have with this game. They destroy horror icons. And this is the problem I have with you fans. You back a game that destroys horror icons. You guys wouldn't know good horror if I took it, stuck it on that fucking bat back there and smacked you upside the fucking head. You would have no idea what just happened. You don't know a fucking faint clue of it. You're just like, oh, it's Freddy Krueger. This is awesome. Yeah, but look what they're doing to him. You want to play a real fucking game? Play Friday the 13th. Let Ash have his own fucking video game, which we're going to get into in another video coming up in the next month or so. I have all these fucking ideas to make a real Evil Dead video game, a real asymmetrical survival horror game, a real game that's going to show appreciation to these horror icons, not just buy them and give fucking dues so that they can use these fucking icons and tone them down to make all the little participation trophy generations happy because God forbid they'd have to actually work to win it something. So if you're actually for this, I pity you. I fucking despise you because now you're attacking one of my fucking favorites. I don't give a shit what you did with a remake to damn Nightmare on Elm Street with that ugly, hideous fucking Freddy Krueger or that half-ass Michael Myers you threw in there. The only one who was worth a damn that you added to that stupid-ass game was the wannabe Jigsaw because I could actually trap and actually torture these little shits and teach them what it's like not to have a little participation trophy even though if they don't win, they gotta go and message me and let them know how it's not fair. It's not fair that I didn't let them go. Ooh, my participation trophy isn't there. 
Go some fucking balls. Get into a real sports league. Learn what it's fucking like to earn your shit. Stop being little pampered brats. And whoever's creating this garbage, stop, man. You're fucking destroying 80s horror. You're not fucking helping it. You're not making it great. You're making it shit. But with all that said, I want your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me that you think fucking Dead by Daylight is just destroying horror icons one after another and you sick of it just as much as I am? And if you dislike this video, well, I clearly know you're just some participation trophy little bitch. You're the only type of person who would dislike this video. Sorry, that's just the way it is. And with all that said, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification box, because if you don't, you won't know how to kick ass shit such as this. And be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, because 100 likes on this video will let everybody know that you're sick and tired of them handicapping real fucking horror icons. And don't forget merch link down in the description below. Eat, sleep, slash, repeat. The four essentials for any horror fan. And don't forget about our new merch, Make Horror Great Again. You know, for those people who are actually true horror fans and not a bunch of little bitches who don't know anything about horror and praise this stupid ass game that destroy and handicap real horror icons. And don't forget, I'm doing another giveaway. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be giving away horror collectibles at the end of the month. So be sure to go down to that description and click that link as well. And as always, stop letting these assholes destroy horror icons one after another. I'm sick of it. And I'll see you next time.